my phone. Um, oh no, I got problems with the car, guys. Um, I, I had a suspicion something was up. Um, because uh, last night I've tried to put my foot down for the first time just to see if the uh, car went into limp mode. And when I did, I put the clip up now, the battery light started flashing. So yeah, as you can see from that clip, obviously something wrong. Um, I didn't, and the one thing I didn't do was I didn't sand down the bracket for the, on the that goes on the inlet um, for the earths. So I don't know if that's something to do with this, whereas now when I try and put the ignition on, I'll get F and it just, it just won't do anything. So, so, oh. God knows. Um, I've given James a call. He's gonna come down and try and try and resolve this. And I'll update this video as a, I know it's not a great video to be posting, but I like to be completely transparent with everybody. But yeah, so I'll keep you posted. Right then, as you can see, the car is running. <sighs> Thank God, that was a, a real. I was, I was worried, really worried. Um, James came down, absolute fucking love saver. As always, like everyone needs a James in their life. He's he's bailed me out that many times. Uh, we, he brought his up, come down, plugged it in. There was no communication to the ECU, so straight away that was a massive worry. I thought, oh no, my ECU's fried or something's happened to the CIM module or something like that. Um, we checked all the earths. Um, everything seemed all right. They couldn't really see anything obvious. Uh, we checked all the fuses on the fuse box. Again, they were all okay. And James suggested, let's try the relay. Now, the relay for the ECU and the fuel pump are the same. So we thought, you know what, we'll, we'll just try and swap them over as the exact same relay, the same same number and all that. S swapped them over and the car started. <laughs> I, I don't get it myself, guys. Um, maybe there was like a, a bad connection where the relay goes in um, so like, obviously when you pulled it out and put it back in it's, it's cleared the, um, the connection for the uh, for the relay maybe I don't know the car's running now thankfully so I'm heading up to James's now we're gonna take that bracket off we're gonna we're gonna sand it down get it back to bare metal which is uh, something I didn't do um, so we do it anyway just just to try and clear everything any any sort of possible solution we, we double check the clearance on the inlet and the uh, alternator it is still it is close it, we didn't when we fitted it it wasn't touching um, but it still looks a bit close for comfort so I think what we're gonna do is gonna take the alternator off and basically try and just take a bit off the alternator just to try and clear it a bit more just to make sure it's completely clear um, I don't know I don't know if that's that was a source of my issue the whole time when I from that clip earlier where the battery lock flashed on I don't know but I don't want to take any chances now that's it that's worried me that dude that really worried me um, the last thing I want to do is try to is fry me easy. I'm not, not, I'm not saying it's going to happen. Obviously, it was, it was a relay issue, but I, I, I don't want to take any chances now. <laughs> it's proper worried me. So we're going to do that now. Uh, make sure that's all 100%. So I'll film as much as I can. Obviously, you've already seen, you've already seen me do the inlet and that, but I'm waffling on now, guys. Sorry. So I'm just I'm just massively relieved. Jack, honestly, I gave James a hug when it started. <laughs> just so relieved. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll film bits what I can, guys. Right then, the lifesaver James again. <laughs> Basically, obviously, we'll be swapped. Well, I told you, we've swapped these two. These are the two relays we swapped over. What we're going to do is we're going to take this, this basic off just because these are quite common for getting water ingress in them. So we're going to take it off and just uh, check that it's not got any corrosion or anything underneath. Or we'll give it, the, and, uh, if it has this contact cleaner written, just make sure everything's how it should be. That's our first port call. Well, if anyone's wondering what it looks like under your fuse box, this is what it looks like. <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of a moisture around the edges but nothing massively worrying to remove it you need to take the three the three um, bolts out of the, there and then there's, you've got a clip there a clip just down here and obviously this bolt here and the nut here and that's it. It, it just pulls us be, just be gentle with it when you're taking it off don't don't go full ham on it but yeah we we'll just give it electrical cleaner on it contact cleaner clean it all up put it back together and hopefully that resolves this this ongoing issue then what we're going to do we're just going to Give the uh, bracket for the um, uh, just a bit of sand down, just to make sure the connection's okay. And maybe look at the alternator. It, look, it is clearing. It's close, but it's clearing. So, but we'll see. 
Right, the alternator's off. Um, obviously, we'd done this thinking we'd had to clear it, but it is touching just here on the plastic, so I don't understand why it's causing the battery light to come on. And it's, it's literally just kissing there, literally nothing. To, obviously, if it's touching slightly, it's enough, isn't it? But it's mainly there, the, hitting the plastic, so I don't understand why it's such a, causing such a problem, but we're just going to notch it down a little bit, make sure it's completely cleared, put it back on, and that'll be that, that bit for the one now. It's pretty easy to come off. If you've got an EDS, getting the alternator off is a lot easier. You've got a lot more space here, lots of room for activities. But yeah, being productive. Right then, the one is back in situ, sort of, but just seems bolting up. What we did, we grinded some more off there. Obviously, the, I know it was touching the plastic, but I can't see that being much of an issue. So we've obviously grinded a bit more off here. So it's, you, I don't, you can't really see in the video, but there, there is a more, like I said, look, you can see it was barely touching, it was mainly touching the plastic. But it is, it is barely touching this, but we've cleared it anyway. So it's okay, so putting it all back together now. We're gonna take that bracket off, which is which is down here, this one here. Should have done it really when we first done it, but it's, it was just one of the things we didn't do it on James's. So we just didn't think to, we thought it'd be all right. I mean, it could have been a number of things causing an issue, but we're gonna take these off, just give this a sand down so it's clean metal, bolt it back up and that well, should we, be it. We put it back to how it was before. Yeah, we basically so put it back how it was. So Rather than to how mine was, we just put it back to where it was before. But Everything's how it should be now, that's so... It should be. Hopefully that kills it. Yeah, let's, let's hope, because I can't be doing any more dramas like that again. I really can't. Right, I'm just um, in the middle of just sanding everything down, doing all the connections. This wire here goes on to... I don't know if you can really see, see here. That's That earth strap bolts onto that. Now, on mine, when we first done the inlet, they were there was two earth straps going to the one bolt, Nothing was on the e ECU. It's only because of the fact we checked James's and noticed it went to his, and we was like, "Well, there's three wires instead of two. So it turns out there wasn't a bolt going to going into that. And at the time, we didn't have a bolt handy. And I thought, well, if it, we thought, well, if it ran far enough, the before we just basically put it back at how it was. Whereas we've got a proper bolt for it now, so we bolted it back to the ECU how it should be. So just I thought I'd mention that as well, guys. But it's basically doing it how it's supposed to be done. You know, it's. I know it's like we should. You're gonna say, oh, you should have done it before that way. But at the end of the day, it's, we put it back how we how we took it off, which you know what you'd usually do with anything, wouldn't you? Right then, everything's done. All back together. Um, sanded down the faces of the bracket, and also sanded down the um, the, the the ground for the that goes onto the ECU itself, and got the ECU face a bit of sand as well. Lost where the um, obviously where the, the um, ECU go the ECU the the ground bolts on. Just basically sand a different down. Make sure everything's all clear. Gave that a bit of a rub down as well, James did. Um, so yeah, and obviously I've already showed you the um, the clearance I've got with the inlet now, so that should be touching, but no, I don't think it'll make any difference anyway, but it's done now. So yeah, so it should start now with no problems. Let's find out. Ooh. Right, ignition's on. No lights or anything on the dash, obviously no F. So yeah, um, hope it's all sorted. I'm, I'm gonna get a new relay ordered anyway, just for the, just for peace of mind. I know it's been, all f been fine now, but you just don't know, do you? I'll get another, a new relay ordered, get that on so that, that eliminates that problem as well. So yeah, I wanna say a huge thank you to you, James. Nice one, mate. Right then, just been for a test drive. No problems at all now, the car goes into full boost. Um, doesn't flash up any lights or anything like it was in that clip I showed you at the beginning of the video. So yeah, it's done. I was so long I put my foot down again. I just wanted to put my foot down once just to make sure it, it was no problems and it seems fine. So, get the wrong gear. Um, yeah, so I'm just relieved guys. Like I said, I, I don't know if it was a mixture of things. It could have been like the fact that there was problems with the uh, where the earth was touching the, um, the bracket where it wasn't obviously had a good connection it could be a fact that the earth strap wasn't on the ecu again we only put it back on the bracket because that's how it came off the car there was never the wire was never on the ecu so we just left it how it was rather than mess about um or it could be a fact that there's a relay had a bit of a flid and just wasn't happy which is causing the problem but i don't know i've got um i've got a new relay on order so that's that's coming so obviously i'm not even though we swapped the relay for the fuel pump and the ECU round and it obviously it's running fine 
I don't want to just leave it like that. I'd rather just put some put a new brand new relay in so that this can completely eliminate that um, that issue. So yeah, I'm just massive re relieved, man. I was I'm not gonna lie, guys. Both me and James were trying to get the car to start. We were a bit worried because you know the case of ECU was fried. But thankfully it wasn't. Thankfully it was just something as silly as that. Obviously, as I know now, the 100% uh, the, um, the inlet's clear in the all now. 100% everything's been sanded down and it's got a clean connection regarding grounds and stuff like that. So yeah, so well done if you've made it to this part of the video. Um, the car is going for mapping on the 13th of next month. Um, obviously, that's the earliest I could get in due to way sort of having a few uh, workshops, lot like renovations and stuff at the minute. I think they have um, the four, four wheel drive dyno installed. So that's as early as I could get in, unfortunately. But hopefully, it's worth the wait. Um, well, so I'll, I'll make sure the car's 100% before then. That's another thing that I was worried about. Obviously, with the car going in for map, I was thinking, oh, if the ECU is dead, that's it. But all good, though, thankfully. So, thank God. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Um, drop a like down. Also, what do you reckon the car's going to make power wise when it does go for mapping? I'm hoping it makes over 300. I can't see why it, it won't. It made 288 when I had valve flow and before I had all the stuff done. So I'm really confident it should make over 300. But, you know, if, if it doesn't, I'll just crush it. <laughs> so as always, guys, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you on the next one.